Chatham families, with our spring break coming up next week, I wanted to take a moment to thank our families for your flexibility, consideration, and the support you have given our school over the past year. I know it hasn't been easy, but together we've been able to make the most of a difficult situation. To me, this year's spring break has special significance because it reminds me how far we've come. It seems like it was only a short while ago that I had to inform you that our 2020 spring break was canceled, along with just about everything else due to COVID-19. At that time, all of our buildings were closed and our teachers and students had to manage their classes the best they could from home. That was last year. Today, the safety measures we've developed and put into practice in our schools have proven to be effective. These practices may complicate things, but because of them, we are able to safely provide our students with in-person learning, interscholastic sports, and other opportunities. Where we are today may be a far cry from where we were pre-pandemic, but it is important to acknowledge that our schools are in a much better place than we were even a few months ago. Getting here has been a monumental task for everyone involved in our school district. We could not be where we are today if it were not for the collective Herculean efforts of our entire school community. And that will continue to be the case as we move forward from here. Here at the Chatham Central School District, we are already having discussions about what may be possible in the coming months. However, with rules, regulations, and guidance from the state and local authorities changing seemingly by the day, there is still a lot of ambiguity over where school will, what school will look like in the future, and particularly next year. I want to reassure you that we are on top of it, and we will continue to be transparent and keep you up to date as guidance becomes available. With that said, please enjoy the April break safely and responsibly so that we can continue to move our schools and our community in a healthy direction. I think I can speak for all of you in saying that you've earned it. And I look forward to seeing everyone again when classes resume on Monday, April 12th. Thank you.